Hello, I'm David Hunt, and I'm here today to introduce you to some of the most amazing people from our community. Today's guest is Sue Wilkinson. Hello, oh, Sue. Hello, David. This is a bit strange. Yeah, I know. If you don't know, Sue and myself um, co-host Friday Drive on Joy, and we have mm. done it for the past... 300 nine, years. 300 years. Nine years. I nine know. years this year. Amazing. And we're like an old married couple. We argue a lot on air and, and whatever. So get ready, people. We'll probably argue. Sue, um, life. She's an educator mother, she's partnered, she's a radio um, personality, and now a marriage celebrant. I know, how is that? I'm going to be at people's weddings. I know. You're it's... like, can I come? Yeah. Can I be flower girl at the weddings? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you keep out the way and wear a frock, then I'll be Yeah, flower. throw the rose yeah. petals as we walk yeah. along. Now, now, Sue, let, let's go way back, because it's back. going way back, considering yeah. how old you are. Thanks, darling. Um, you, like when you know, like we, what's your life? What do you remember from your kid growing up? What sort, oh. of, what sort of kid were you? Um, a little terror, I think I was. All, but I was always the teacher's pet, so I was sort oh. of two of two sides of the coin. I reckon I um, I always challenged things and asked a lot of questions, and I wanted to know about the world, and I was always interested in things, and I was, you know, don't touch that plug. Well, my finger went straight in, and don't put a knife in the toaster, and you know. <laughs> Straight in it went. Um, so and things then I'd haven't changed? No. You haven't grown up? No. no. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'd cover it up. But then the change of that was sort of more at home. But then at, at school, I really responded to authority and rules. So I wanted to please the teacher. Okay. And, you know, I was always the one sitting at the front and, you know, crossing the legs and just looking up like puppy dog eyes. So keen to learn? I was keen to learn and I was, I, I was just intrigued, probably really looking at it, about performing because teachers are great performers. Absolutely. You know, they're great at capturing audiences yep. and, and making you want to learn and, and listen. And when a teacher would read, I was just gobsmacked. Mm. And I, it's one thing I love to do now is, is read a, a kid's story. Yep. Because you can go up and down. Oh, and, yeah. It's oh, the it's the just so much fun. fun. The best fun. So much fun. Um, so when did you realise you wanted to be a teacher? Um, it was actually uh, when I was 15 yeah. and we were going on a, an excursion. Right. And I remember it absolutely vividly. And we were heading off to what was then a residential unit for kids with disabilities. And thank goodness they're shut down now uh -huh. um, here in Australia. But in Victoria, there was one uh, out in Bandura. Right. And of course, I'd never been introduced in a way to disability. And I was terrified. Uh, yep. I was beside myself on the whole journey. Yep. And we drove into this uh, really commanding big, big metal gates and big red brick buildings all over the place. And I had my first um, introduction to disability and I sat on the bus and I remember holding the seat thinking, I, I can't get out. Mm. This, this, I can't get out. This is, you know, there was, there was drool and it was all this stuff that I'd never been presented with. It's always been sheltered away. Yep. Um, I remember like a blue bus going by and kids making fun of it. And yeah. I was never a kid who made fun of other people. Yep. I've made up for that since. <laughs> but I, um, I got off the bus and, and a kid came up to me, a Down syndrome young man, and he would have been, I, I imagine, be older, maybe 16, 17, 18. Don't know, I really don't know. And he gave me the biggest hug and it just broke my world. And I thought, this is what I've got to do. I've got to, I've got to do what I just did for myself and change the world's perspectives on, on kids with disability, ability, difference, change. Yep. And so since then, that was the trajectory I set off. So. Okay, so you didn't want to become a teacher, just a normal teacher, and then you never be normal. <laughs> you're true, and then fall yeah. into that, um, you know, like the the, the world yeah. that you ended up. You you were focused on. I wanted Brilliant. to change the world. Yep. I wanted people. I wanted to break down the barrier. I wanted to get people off that bus with mm. confidence. Yep. And I wanted people to to walk hand in hand with, with just difference in life and celebrate everybody's individuality and not, not have these kids locked away. And why? Well, I mean, they, I had the best day. We had a picnic and we were holding hands and we ran around the park and I just had the best day. And I yeah. remember coming back thinking, wow, this, 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 is, this is where I, I fit. Yep. And until that point, I hadn't. Mm. You know, I tried to fit in with my friends, but I was never groovy enough. I never liked the right music. <laughs> 
I never, I never. How, did you ever go to Countdown? <laughs> never. I wanted to. I know. Life, life's life tragic, tough. isn't life it? Life was yeah. tough. I never had the right clothes. You know, we didn't have a lot of money. Well, people at the time didn't. Um, and I just didn't fit in. And, and until that day, I, I didn't find my place. And then after that, I did. So then I, I volunteered. I yep. started volunteering. Okay. And uh, I haven't it, stopped since. And what was it like going through Teachers College knowing at the end that that, you know, because did you have to do special training to? Yeah, yep. I spent a lot of time learning. A yep. lot, and a lot of time just not learning really. Sitting in the car, <laughs> should fun. I go? <laughs> no. <laughs> Catch up, no. Yeah, like go, go to the local yeah. um, mill bar yeah. uh, and uh, Get my have five cent potato cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went off to Teachers College. Yep. Uh, I was really lucky my parents supported me and HEX really wasn't a challenge then. So it wasn't an expensive process. Um, and then I went off to special ed. And then I realised when I was doing special ed training, I wanted to be a teacher of the deaf. So I decided that I would continue on my studies. And by this stage, I was teaching and I was actually teaching at the second residential unit in Victoria mm -hmm. um, that was home to um, people with disabilities who had been given up at birth oh. and had spent their life in institutions. Wow. So it was a tough job, yeah. but, but again, yep. it was just lovely. So then I went on trained to be teacher of the deaf. Right, wow, And because oh, you can sign. I can sign, particularly when I'm drinking. Yep, yep. then you've, you've taken it further with, within the education department as well. Yeah. Uh, and you're working on special projects now. Yeah. Uh, but a mother, yeah. two daughters. Yeah, I've got two kids. Um, absolutely love them to death. Of course you do. Love them to death. Um, and I had a little boy who passed away when he was very young. Yep. He was only 13 days old. So I thought, I, you know, I was going to be one of those parents who actually had a child with disabilities, but I was yep. like ready to embrace that. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. Now, you were married and your marriage was. was breaking down. Your well, husband came to you and handed you a flyer one day. What was that flyer? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, it was it was tough, and and we we had conversations about things not being right, and not. But again, I didn't I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what was missing in my life. I knew at certain times that I wanted more out of life. Yep. It was like that kid looking at the teacher. I want more. Yep. Yep. I want more, but not knowing what it is. But but tell me. And uh, it was tough. So, so what was the fly? So he actually introduced <laughs> me to Joy. Right. 94.9. And he said, um, I think you'd like this radio station. And I went, oh, yeah. And we were in the garden and I thought, what do you mean? You know, I was pff, oblivious to the point. And he said, no, I think you like it. And that was it. Didn't say another word. Mm. And obviously things happened along yep. the way. Um, and then one day I turned it on in the car on my way to work. And I went, oh, I identify with this language. Oh, I identify with this language. Yep. And then what I would do is I would um, turn it on in the morning mm. and then I'd leave it on. But when I got to work, I'd turn it off in case, just in case somebody got in the car. Yep. And then when I got you know, back in the car after, I would mm. listen to it. So I had these kind of moments of feeling connected and then this time where I didn't know where I fit anymore during my day as a mm. mum and a, yep. and a teacher. So yeah. it was a really difficult but now you've time. embraced it and you've become the person you are today. Yeah. yeah. Why a marriage yeah. celebrant? Oh, again, I love, I love people and mm. I love making people happy and I love having fun. As you know, we've had so much fun over our time together. But there's a, there's a really large, serious side to me in, in helping people reach the things they want to reach in a great, fun way. And... What perfect way to to do that? So as a celebrant, I can share in, you know, one of the most incredible moments of their life. And then as a funeral celebrant, I can really celebrate a person's life. Mm. And I love storytelling. Yep. That that comes back to that little girl again. Mm. You know, sitting listening to the speakers. You know, the, yep. remember the big speakers mm. on the walls? Yeah. Do you the, remember the, them? The headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> the headmaster. <laughs> Yeah. The headmaster. And, um, yeah. Wow, what a wonderful journey. Yeah, yeah. I, it, there's and, still and lots a, to do. And a new, a new you know, chapter's unfolding as we speak. Got a project on the, on the way at the moment. I'm still working really hard in education to work with um, kids with really significant 
behaviours of concern and working with families and staff and schools to really sort of shift some of that to to understand what's what's going wrong or what's going right and what we can improve so that they mm. they get better outcomes in life so they don't just get it's just too hard basket. Mm. There's Brilliant. too many in the too hard basket. Yep. Sue Wilkinson, what a treat oh, chatting thanks, to you today. As odd as, <laughs> as into me interviewing yeah, you. It's weird. I hope you enjoyed our little story today. There are so many yet to come. I'm David Hunt. See you soon.